Hey guys, it's your girl Benita here. Sorry for my dryness. I know I look like bye Felicia. Today I'm going to talk about some contact lenses. I'm going to give a review of my experience using Celotica natural contact lens lenses in the color Quartz or Quartzo, however you call it. I usually order mine from this website called Perana Lentes. I'll link it down below in case anybody's like really wondering and really looking into buying these. I've had them since August. It's now December 19th or 20th. I don't know what time it is, but so that's about like five months, four or five months I've had them in and I wanted to wait before I did a review on it because I wanted to sit with it a while and like make sure I'm giving you an accurate review. So it comes in a, in a small box, small packaging. It took about maybe like two weeks to get here, honestly, but I think it shipped from like Brazil or I don't know something foreign like that some foreign place it wasn't China it was like some foreign country so it took about two weeks to get here and then it comes in these small little packages I don't know if you guys can see it I'm blind as hell if you know me then you know like I'm blind so my right eye is the 350 and my left eye is 375. I don't know if that means I'm blinder in my left eye. I don't know. But usually these are filled up when you get them. But since it's been a while, I've already taken out the saline solution in it and already used it and discarded it. And it also comes in this packaging. So I don't use the case it came with because it got kind of confusing. Because if you ever own a pair of contacts, then you know that the colored side is usually on your right side. But for me, it came on the left side. I just used my old one that was prescribed to me by my own like eye doctor. So this is the one that I use. This is how it normally is. I know it looks like flip, but it's because it's on camera. But it just makes more sense. So I use this top one. This is like the standard one that comes with like most contact lenses. I have them in here and I have some clean fresh saline solution in here that I got from CVS. Just some regular saline solution. I even bought more the other day. I'm going to demonstrate myself putting these contact lenses on. First what you have to do before anything wash your hands, both hands. Usually I get lazy and only wash one, but honestly, you have to keep your hands clean because God forbid you get an eye infection and you go blind. And that defeats the whole purpose of getting prescribed contact lenses for you to see instead now you're blind. So make sure you wash both hands. Do as I say, not as I do. But I'm gonna go wash my hands now and then I'm going to apply them and show you guys what they look like. Be back. Let's see if I can do this through camera. Take the first one, my right eye. I always start with my right eye because I'm left handed. I mean, because I'm right handed. Make sure it's flipped over at the right side. Make sure I make that little bowl. Sometimes I add my Opti Free little replenish drops on them. This is to keep your eyes from getting irritated. So if it's taking me too long or if I see the contacts are getting like dried out, I just like add them to it. Either You could either do it before you put it in your eye or you could do it after you put it in your eye. Just like eye drops, you just pour it in there. I do like three drops or something like that. So now I'll put it in my eye. I just use my paper towel to like wipe off my other finger so it's not like slippery when I put it in there. Usually I 
usually the left eye is a little more challenging than the right eye, but hey, it just went on easy, easy breezy for you guys. It's not always like this. Sometimes I struggle to get them in. Like either one will be cooperating and the other won't. They will both be so dry that it will have like nothing to attach to to my eye. The worst is when I'm just sitting there in the morning struggling trying to get them both in. And usually, you know, you see zombie wipes and off like tears. That's why it's always best to put these on before you put on any makeup. Because any, especially if you're putting any like makeup to your eyes, like mascara, eyeliner, lashes, eyeshadow, you're just gonna mess it up anyway. So it's always smart to put it, put on your contacts before you put on your makeup. So I don't have any makeup on right now. Usually I don't even put on, on any makeup to my eyes. I just rock it like that, bags and all. supposed to be like a blue color but I've noticed for me that in certain lighting the color turns green it's a little green cat eyeish corso it's not like a real color I don't know what it what it is it kind of looks like a like a teal color when I ordered it I thought it was gonna be like really blue on me it's really tricky ordering contact lenses especially when you're of a darker complexion because you don't know how it's gonna translate to your your skin how it's gonna make you look so I've noticed that for people of color contact lenses such as gray kind of tends to look bluish on us so if you're going for that like blue look which I was going for I wanted to have like a cool like foreign blue type of look to me and I got this and this one's very pretty but in certain lighting it appears to be greenish and I have that like hot cat eyeish like color to me and um, in certain lighting, in some pictures with some filters, like Snapchat loves these contacts. It just loves it. I don't know if the camera is just like amazing all, of, all in its own or what, but it just like goes so well with these contacts. So in, on Snapchat with the little cute filters, it looks more bluish, but in person, I feel like in real life, it has more of a like green, greenish, bluish hue to it. So if you're of color and you're looking for more of a bluish color, I would say find a gray one. It sounds weird, but I feel like gray translates more to blue to people of color. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos. I've been trying to find other reviews because I want to order some more. I want to order a different color, but I'm scared because I don't know like, because first of all, it's a lot of money. It's $79 for these and then plus shipping, which is like $30. So you're paying like one one something like 110 130 something between that i think it's 110 but either way it's still expensive so yeah you don't want to like keep wasting your money and buying and it's hard to like return because you don't want to have to go through all that process first of all you don't know where you're, where it's coming from you don't know where you're sending the money to or sending the package to and you don't know how long it's going to take for them to refund you your money you never know these people are going to be like sketchy or what if you're going to get your money back so it's like, once you buy it, you're kind of like stuck. So I want to get another pair, but I'm not sure which pair to get because I don't want to waste my money. I want to get something that looks more bluish, but I'm not sure if I should just get like a gray color or if I should go for another bluish hint to it that's called Topaz. Topaz? Topaz? Yeah. So I'm like in between those. I don't, I'm not sure at the moment, but I do want to get more, but... I don't know. I've been trying to look for videos of girls who are of like African American ethnicity trying to see like how it balances off of like different skin colors but I mostly been finding videos of non-African Americans and that doesn't really help me because we all look, all look different with different contacts. So I hope this can help somebody who's been looking to get contacts but they don't know how it's going to translate to their skin. I'm like brown skin and Quartz looks blue in pictures and it looks green in real life, greenish, bluish in real life. It's pretty though, it is, I have to say. It's very pretty, but I just don't know. I wish it, I wish it was more blue. 
then these are said to last for about a year if taken care of properly so that's why i bought it because i'm like well duh if i can pay this money this 110 dollars like, but that's gonna last me for the whole year then that seems reasonable to me than me going to an eyewear place and purchasing contacts is gonna be about the same price but it's only gonna last you maybe a week or two. You have to keep like buying them, keep buying them, keep buying them every two weeks. You have to buy like a new pair. So that's just money adding up anyway. So to me, it just made more sense to buy these and wear for a whole year as opposed to me buying from like Acuvue or some other prescribed place from like the doctor and having to continue to continuously switch it up every two weeks. It just made more sense and save more money. So why not? So some side effects are your eyes get really tired of it like really fast or at least mine do. I would say after about two to three hours my eyes start to like hurt. Not hurt but it just starts to feel like heavy. Yeah that's the word heavy. My eyes start to feel heavy and if I wear it for too long one time I wore it like all day and by the time I took it off it felt like the contacts literally gave me like a migraine. And that's that's how it used to be when I first got my cla my glasses. When I first got my first prescribed glasses, whenever I wear it for too long, I always get headaches. So it's kind of a similar feeling. So I already understand how that works. But I try to be more like cautious because these are contacts, and you can get an infection, and nobody wants that. I don't want to go blind. So if I feel like I have it on for too long, I'll just take it out. Like whatever, I'll take it out. I try not to wear it like all the time. I don't wear it every single day. Like I usually have classes from Mondays to through Thursdays. So I wear it those four days. And as soon as I was done, like out of class, I would take it out for the rest of the day. And I would never wear it like on the weekends. Only maybe here and there when I felt fancy. But I would never wear it for too long because, you know, I don't like to get headaches and I don't want an infection. So always wash your hands. Don't leave it on for too long. Do not sleep with it do not sleep with them at all like don't do that and just be careful be prepared be ready to spend that moolah but it's i feel like it's worth it if you find the right color you take very good care of it i would say to wash out your saline solution like every day even though i don't do that do as i say not as i do i don't wash it out every single day i only wash it out like when i'm wearing it but even if you're not wearing it i would suggest that you still rinse it out just so every day it's getting at least like eight hours of fresh saline solution to it but if you don't do that then you don't do that I know I don't do that so I can't tell you to do something that I don't do but I would suggest that you do that because I feel like that is recommended and that is the smart thing to do another side effect to them is that they get dry quickly I would say about after maybe two to three hours it starts to get dry and you start to like feel them almost coming off it doesn't come off but your eyes just feel like okay I need to close my eyes real quick so this thing doesn't jump out of my head so I catch myself doing that a lot or sometimes it'll get watery or it'll get just dry yeah I think these are good these are perfect for about an hour or two tops and then after that like your eyes start to get irritated starts to get dry and you might get a headache or a migraine it's just time to take it off it's not meant to be worn all day it's just like glasses some people have been wearing glasses their whole life like every single day every single second so except for when they're going to sleep so like they're more used to that but if you're not used to wearing like I only wear my glasses when I need to see like <laughs> I need to see all the time but I only let me rephrase that I only wear my glasses when I need to like See something far away so if I'm in class and there's something on the board that I can't see I'll grab my glasses and bring it out but I can see close to me I just can't see things that are far what is that nearsighted I always get confused but yeah I'm that so this is just like a, a happy medium because it got to be stylish and I can also see better with it so it kind of just helped me out Overall, I would say these are these are good contact lenses. I've seen other ones that look, that look really fake, and I get a lot of compliments on these. And then people always like think these are my real eyes, and I'm like, no, no, no. I always correct them because I'm not gonna be, oh yeah, yeah, it's mine, blah, blah blah. No, I always correct them like, no, it's not mine, but thank you. Like it's not real, but thank you. But people actually do think these are my real eyes, and there are some black girls who have like beautiful blue eyes. I just 
wasn't one of them. But hey, I like to switch things up every once in a while, so I figured why not? And I just took the leap and I got them. I'm happy that I did. I'm not being sponsored by anybody. I'm not getting no money. I paid for this with my own money. Trust me. Nobody told me to talk about it. Nobody gave me any any like script to say this is all me, all genuine from my own pockets. I wish I was sponsored by them. So if y'all want to, you know, do that, let me know. I'll try them out for your African American customers. Just hit me up. So yeah, I hope this video helps somebody out there. If you like it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. Bye. Peace. Girl, I need some cocoa butter. Let's go out try this shit. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I need some cocoa butter. Hair is like this because, you know, I'm trying to get it to be like real curly in the morning. So hopefully it turns out well. That's why I look rough. I look like bye Felicia. Don't judge me. Uh -huh.